Hello and welcome to Ghana's Daily YouTube channel where we are talking about the latest Arsenal news and everything that is happening around the club. And well, today we have a big one. If you haven't seen it already, well, brace yourselves. Because the PGMO and their chief, Howard Webb, have just officially released the VAR audio from the Newcastle vs Arsenal game on the match officials mic'd up show. As we already know, in that game, Anthony Gordon's strike went through three separate VAR checks before being cleared. Possible ball out of play, possible offside call, and possible foul on Gabriel. We all know what happened after that. VAR officials and the referee Stuart Atwell gave Newcastle the goal and Arsenal lost that game 1-0. So, today, 10 days after the incident occurred... Howard Webb and the Referees Association have decided to finally release the audio tape from that specific situation. So without any further ado, let's get into it. On the ball going out of the play, the VAR claimed they had no conclusive evidence the ball had gone out of play from the angle offered. So, we are back at square one with this one. Like they already said after the game, unfortunately, they don't have the technology or that amount of the cameras in stadiums that could, al <clears throat> sorry, that could allow them to be 100% sure the ball was in or out of the play. So, the biggest, greatest, richest football league in the world ain't got the facilities for that. Unbelievable. And that's why they stood with their first decision, that the ball did not cross the line. But let's move to the next one. On possible foul on Gabriel Magalhaes, VAR said, I don't see a specific foul on Gabriel. I see two hands on his back, but I don't see anything of a push that warrants him flying forward like that. Listen, I won't even try to analyze this because what's the point? I see two hands on his back, but I don't see anything of a push. Listen mate, no offense to anyone. But you have to be a complete imbecile to say that after you took a look on that incident from three or four different camera angles. What is there to discuss? It's clear as a day that Gabriel was pushed with full force and you have to be a complete idiot like Andy Medley who was in charge of the VAR that night who says, let me repeat once again, I don't see a specific foul on Gabriel. I see two hands on his back but I don't see anything of a push that warrants him flying forward like that. Disgrace, absolute disgrace. And finally, we have the third situation, the possible offside call. So, regarding a possible offside on Gordon, the VAR admitted that given it was unclear where the ball was at the point of contact on Joelinton, there was no conclusive evidence of the goal scorer being ahead of the ball based on the angles on offer. You know, what's the point? What's, what's the point in us having a discussion and sharing our opinions and thoughts in this whole situation? When you have these absolute clowns in the VAR room making decisions like this. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of talking about referees, about the VAR, Howard Webb, all these idiots in general. Because what's the point? Unfor unfortunately, nothing's gonna change. Unless all of the Premier League clubs decide to join their forces and flip the whole system upside down. And you know what? In a season like this, where all the top teams are basically one point from each other on the table so far. Decisions like this could have major consequences at the end of the season. And if, God forbids, it comes to that, I don't even want to think about the chaos that would unfold. And Gunners, that is basically pretty much it from this VAR audio check. So tell me, what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Share your thoughts down in the comments and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Thank you and see you on the next one.